Hey guys, it's Simplicity, and welcome back to a new world overview. Today, we are going to be doing a world overview on Auburn Island. Um, if my screen resolution is a little bit off, I'm sorry. I'm still trying to figure that out. I actually did this thing where, like, I have more than one folder for The Sims 3 now for filming and, like, my current household, and I didn't check to see what my resolution was on in my original folder, so I'm probably going to do that after I'm done filming. But uh, we're going to go ahead and check out this little house over here. Um, I couldn't pronounce the name of it, so I'm not even going to bother trying. But it looks really cute. But it kind of load on up here a little bit. One thing I will say about this world is that it's really dark. Um, I'll see if I can kind of like brighten it in editing a little bit. But like I have a lighting mod in and it's even really dark with that. So I don't know what's up with that but this is actually really cute and I like that there's a ladder to go upstairs instead of stairs because then you don't have to take up room with stairs so that's actually really smart this is honestly this would be a house that I would have my sims live in um, and so then you have your little bedroom up here and it looks like there's a bathroom I don't know how to properly see this without seeing the roof but over there you can see there's a bathroom. Um, now I'm curious to see what it looks like whenever you're actually playing. And if you can actually like properly see into the bathroom. But like that's honestly a really cool idea. I like that a lot. Huh. Maybe I'll have to go in and explore this whenever I'm done. Because now I'm honestly like I'm really curious to see what it looks like. But okay. The house is honestly really cute. It's a little bit messed up as you guys can see like there's some windows up here. That aren't supposed to be up here. But uh, that could just be my game. I'm not sure. Or they just got misplaced. Um, I'm aiming to do like one house per area. That kind of thing. This world isn't very big. And from what I remember. There's not a lot to do here for your community. But like I really like the houses. Which is why I'm wanting to kind of just hang out. And do this world overview today. Um, there is actually solar panels in this house which is really cool but this one is a lot more modern as you can see but I love the colors in here I love the pops of orange it's one of my favorite things so you've got a half bath here you have your kitchen dining room area over here and then you have your living room which everything's really modern uh, we've got a foosball table and just kind of like a little seating area and then you have your stairs over here which leads up to the one bedroom and then you have a bathroom and a laundry room over here as well but it is really nice I honestly I really like the houses in this world if houses are like one of your main things like you don't want to go in and like create your own houses but you don't want to like download houses you should definitely do this one like this world it's phenomenal um, you have the garage back here which is really cool there's a pool like it's all just it's fairly modern and I love it. But yeah, I'm definitely going to have to see if I can, like, edit this in my editor to brighten it up any. Um, what else? There's this house here, which is Hilldale Road. Okay, so as you guys can see, this one's, like, definitely more of, like, a bigger family home. Um, I don't remember the last time I actually played in a house that was this big. Or if I actually ever have. I tend to be one that really likes my tiny homes. But this could be like a mansion kind of thing for like a celebrity. It'd be really cool. Um, I want to take a look at the kitchen. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here just so I can kind of see. I like it. I'd combine the two islands to make it like one big one using cheats. But I like it. Um, I feel like there's a lot of empty space. But it gives you Sims freedom to kind of like walk around. Um, you have your little office kind of area over here, I think. Pretty sure that's when it's meant to be. It's like a little office area. Big empty spot over here for some stairs. Empty over here, but it leads to the garage, so you don't really need to have a whole lot over there, I wouldn't say. And then upstairs, there's a lot of bedrooms. So you've got one... I'll zoom in here. Okay, so there's one bedroom here. There's another bedroom here and a bathroom. So two bedrooms. 
and two bathrooms up here so far. Oh, this one's really big. Wow. It's a really big bathroom. Um, you have another bedroom over here, which is three. This is four. There's five bedrooms and three bathrooms just on this floor alone. So, if you're looking for a house that can handle a lot of sims, I think this could be it. <laughs> because, like, there's a lot of space. Like, a lot of space. And it's a really pretty house. If I played with, like, bigger families and liked bigger lots, I'd download that one. Alright. What else do we have in this world? I am curious. It's been a while since I've actually opened this world. I think actually we're going to jump in to game. Alright, so I just have a family placed down. So this is a starter home. It's kind of like a log cabin. So as you can see, there's stairs to go downstairs, which just leads you to your bathroom. But it's actually kind of really cool. I like the aesthetics of this. And yeah, so we're going to go ahead and take a look, see what we have around the world. And see what we can do so of course we have the clear stuff um i think i'm missing the art gallery for this world so that kind of sucks but like as you can see there's a lot of just rabbit holes it's not a whole lot to like jump into uh we've got a park over here which we can check out but um a graveyard just kind of like some random stuff like that but uh Sorry, I got a message and got distracted. But, like, if you look over here, this is where the art gallery is supposed to be. I'm missing it, so you just have to hop into, like, edit town and place one in. But, uh, yeah. There's a cute little bookstore over here. It's just, it's all very, like, nice and simple. And I feel like, I don't know for sure, but I feel, from looking at it right now, there's a lot of space to add your own houses. Um, we have the gym over here, which isn't the most exciting lot in the world. But I'm going to go ahead and pop in and show... Oh, I don't have NLOS in my game. How did I not put NLOS in this save file thing? In my mod folder for this. Alright, I'm definitely going to have to fix that. <laughs> I've got a lot of stuff to fix. Okay. But as you can see, the gym's very modern as well. It hasn't fully loaded up. And now there's a bowl. But it's very modern. Like, that's one thing I will say about this town is that, like, a lot of stuff is very modern, and I really like it. So, we have a pool and just the bathrooms, and I like that the bathrooms are color-coded, even though I'd make probably make them uh, gender-neutral. And then we have a view up here that you can see the pool from down below and just the workout stuff, and it's a really nice gym. Um, we also have an old waterfront park over here. Which is just going to go ahead and load on up a little bit. But yeah, it's really cute. Just really simple. You can come here and have a picnic. Just kind of hang out. Stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I think that's actually going to be it for this overview. It's really short. I apologize. But um, it's a very small world with not a whole lot to show off. Other than like there's this little spot over here. Which can be kind of be like bleachers if you added in like um, the soccer nets. Oh, never mind, the soccer nets are loading up now. But, yeah, it's a really cute world. If you guys are looking for some really good houses, definitely check out this world. I will have the link down in the description. And I will see you guys all in my very next video. Oh, and here's, actually, I'm going to show you guys really, really quick. So, it's really tiny, kind of creepy, off in the woods kind of thing. But, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button down below. If you guys want to see some more videos, you can hit that subscribe button down below as well. And... Yeah, the link to Auburn, is it Auburn Island, I think, will be in the description. And I will see you guys all in my very next video. Bye, guys.